So in this video, I just want to detail the only paths you have as options to scaling to, you know, $100,000 a month in your consulting or coaching or service-based business. You know, these are the basically the paths we've walked our clients down um, and just kind of giving you them for free, honestly. Like, the, the thing is, a lot of people, they try and go at it the wrong way. They, they think that, you know, in order to really scale, they need, uh, here's some things that they think. What's, here, I'll just write it out. Here's what you think you need. A lot of people think that they need a few things, and, and sometimes they're right, sometimes they're wrong. Uh, a, often they think that they need, um, you know, a, a proper funnel or like a big fancy marketing process, like a lot of ads, and they think they need to spend, you know, anywhere from like twenty to even upwards of fifty thousand dollars a month, um, and then they're keeping only, you know, twenty thirty a month at the end of the day. And this is something a lot of people think that they need. And I've found that honestly with our clients, you know, this can help at some point. And we even have our own advertising funnel. You know, I'm going to be initiating a couple grand a day and spend maybe 1500 to 2500 a day and spend here uh, at the beginning of 2022 uh, just to really give us an extra boost for, uh, for that year. But uh, I don't think funnel and ads is really honestly, not only do I not think it's the like easiest way to get there, I think it actually costs a lot more than it gives you um just from personal experience and again this could be just a personality type thing but i've found that uh, funnel and ads is, is not what have have gotten our clients to you know seven figure level uh, another thing that they think is they think that they need a lot of tiers of products so they think they need um like and this might be you you might think that you need like a for example uh, a 37 dollar product that then walks up into you know a 147 and then that walks up into you know a 997 and all, and all this stuff and and the problem with this thinking is that for every new offer that you have to justify the price for you have to uh, give it attention and energy to figure out how you're going to justify that price and how you're going to add a lot of value and how you're going to make the exchange worth it for the client so with every new product a lot of people say oh the, the cheaper it is the easier it is to sell right and not really because whenever somebody spends money with you if they're not extraordinarily happy that they did it they won't come back um so if you have a 37 dollars offer but the offer is just good enough to get them to walk up the ladder that's not actually building long-term reciprocity and that's not actually serving your marketplace that well we all know that this product purely exists to get somebody to walk up a ladder that's the only reason it exists and that's not the customer focused decision and that doesn't actually serve them um, a lot of time people maybe run ads for this and then in this product they'll speak of this which will upgrade and then they'll upgrade to this and then they've got like a 5k or something that is like or a 7k that is like the highest ticket you know it's like their one to one package or, or something like that um, and this isn't needed either this this is a huge misconception and you know I, I do not think that you should run your business this way and I'll explain why here in a sec the last thing that people think they need is like a team of like uh, you do need a team I'd say like a team of maybe two uh, three including yourself a team of like 10 or more uh, And I just think that that's gonna slow you down to you So these these are three things people think that they need that they don't actually need and I'm gonna explain each away And I've given each a little bit of an explanation first of all with team the only rules that you need are uh, somebody in charge of enrollment and a lot of people would call this a salesperson, but I don't like that phrase because I don't want my guys focused on sales Honestly, I want them enrolling the right people um, you need someone for enrollment and you need somebody to help you with like support and support means, you know, product. It means, um, you know, knowing your numbers of your business, um, maybe somebody to help you even coach a little bit on the side, uh, just kind of somebody to play that full support role to help you make higher level decisions. Okay. This is, this is all you need. You need somebody on the phones and you need somebody for support. So what are your paths to get to, let's say you're doing five to $10,000 a month right now. How do you get to hundred thousand dollars a month? Well, a you need to sell one thing. Like, honestly, it, this is what, like, I got to tell you, I, I've paid 30 grand to be in masterminds where this is all they tell you. Like, this is literally it. They, they just say, hey, you just need to sell one thing. Uh, and why? Why do you just want to sell one thing? Well, it, first of all, it gives you the ability to focus on one uh, pitch. Focus on one pitch. One, not just one pitch, but also one delivery process and one uh, customer journey, right? You gotta understand that the more 
transaction types that you introduce into your business, the more customer journeys you have to think about, which actually prevents your ability to scale. One product, you only need one product on one channel uh, with you know one delivery process, one one pitch to get to you know a hundred thousand dollars a month or you know that coveted uh, million a year mark. And this is my experience with a lot of our clients. They're overcomplicating their business like mad, and because they have multiple offers, when you have two offers. Let me tell you this, when you have two offers or more than one, uh, you're not just having your attention. Like you'd think it's like, oh, 50% of my attention goes to my low ticket and then 50% of my attention goes to my high ticket. And this is kind of people's thinking, right? The problem with that thinking is that they don't actually think about the transaction, like the transition period from focusing on this to this. You've got your, your low ticket and then you've got your high ticket that you're selling, right? Or something like that. They don't think about the amount of expense that is found in this transition period of focusing on one to another. Like your team can't keep up with you. Your clients can't keep up with you. You know, if you can't explain what you do, your clients definitely don't know what you do. And your, if your team can't explain what you do, then no way your message is actually going to get out into the market. And so if you have more than one thing, it's going to prevent your ability to scale like crazy. Like you're going, if you, I talk to our clients all the time, we had one client join the consulting blueprint and he's wanting to get to a million a year. And uh, I got a call with him and he's doing like 15,000 a month, but he's got like a fleet of four offers. And I said, just nail this down to one. And literally within 30 days, he doubled his business because all of a sudden he's got the energy and attention uh, to focus on the right things. A lot of people say that time equals money, but I actually wouldn't agree with this. I wouldn't agree with this. People say that time is our greatest asset, right? I, and I wouldn't agree with that. I would actually say that attention is your greatest asset because you know time is maybe a prerequisite to attention but attention is the actual asset and if we're going back and forth from one thing to another thing all the time and we're thinking about two completely different angles at which we're attacking the market then our attention isn't just split 50 50 it's actually split like maybe 20 20 and then the rest of the time is spent trying to figure out how to balance both and i'm sure you've experienced this it's not 50% here, 50% here, it's like 20% here and then 20% here. And then that other 60% you're spending trying to figure out, hmm, how do I actually balance both of these? And how, I get, how do I get them both to be valuable? And how do I actually build my business? Okay, so this is the importance of one offer, one thing, one outcome. You're generating one outcome for your niche, one outcome. And it needs to be a really, really, really good outcome. Okay, so that's the first thing. So do not have a fleet of offers, you need one offer. I, I, I promise you that this is going to change your business forever. If, if you don't believe me, try it for 60 days. Say, you know what? I'm going to let go of all these clients. I'm going to let go of all these. I'm just going to start selling more of the thing that I'm most excited to sell that gets our clients the best results. And watch what happens to your business. It'll be incredible. Uh, B, one channel. So let me, let me talk about this thing that I said earlier about no funnel. Okay, let me talk about no funnel. Right now, you're in my funnel. This is my funnel. YouTube or Facebook, wherever you're watching, this is my funnel. I'm adding reciprocity. Um, and that reciprocity will come back in the form of business at some point for us, right? So one channel means basically just know your numbers so you can reverse engineer uh, how many calls you need to get a sale and how many sales you need to get to get to 100 a month. It's literally that simple. So now that you've got one offer, and hopefully it's a higher ticket, three to seven, maybe upwards of $10,000 offer, and if you don't know how to build an offer like this, this is where we actually help you. This is why you know we do what we do. We help our clients build these offers. Like we just had a client sell a $19,000 package in the consulting blueprint after only being with us for a handful of months, uh, and he'd only sold $1,000 packages up until then. So we helped him actually build the offer, you know, craft its deliverables, craft the message, and go out into the market and sell it. That's why we do what we do, right? Um, but that said, if you have one offer with one outcome generated and one delivery process, especially you don't want to complicate your delivery, then all you need to do is introduce one channel and know your numbers. So knowing numbers means what does it cost to get a call? So cost per call. Now, how many calls needed to get a sale? What's that number? You know, we close right now about 37% of the people because honestly, I'd say about 40% of the time we turn them away because they're not in the right place for this, but we still add a lot of value. We still send them a lot of resources. We'll even like buy people books. We'll, we'll help them out and get them started and get them up to speed. And then they'll maybe come back later and invest. So it, and we're, they're kind of on that waiting list, you know, uh, to work with us per se. 
um because we do kind of have an active waiting list of people that are ready to work with us but uh maybe now's not the right time or we can't take them on right now or whatever so 37 percent is kind of who we end up working with so we know that if we get you know uh let's say 50 sales calls we can kind of do the math and know how much that's worth to us and then therefore we can reverse engineer our numbers and so like for example we know uh how many views is required to get a call we know that number we also know how much we need to spend on ads to get that call whoops let me just redo that to get that call right you just need to basically know your numbers pick one channel like i do not care which channel it is it could be facebook linkedin instagram youtube twitter reddit it could be youtube ads facebook ads any angle tiktok one of our clients is on tiktok he got 40 sales calls in a single evening so we showed him how to convert that tiktok audience into into sales calls and he's already closing like 20 percent of his sales calls so we wrote him like a sixty thousand dollar check immediately which is incredible um so you need to know what is your cost per call? What does it cost to close or how many calls you need to close and then reverse engineer your numbers. So let's just do some basic rudimentary math, right? If it takes you 10 calls to close, let's say one out of 10 and you have a $5,000 offer, you need to generate about 500 sales calls in a month. Now this is where if you're a one man show, you either A, need to hire somebody to take those calls because a lot of calls or B, you need to work on your close rate or maybe your offer and make it a better offer, a bit easier to say yes to, or you need to introduce some reasons why people would work with you over other people. What's your angle? Why would people work with you? And then also work on your sales call, uh, you know, skill. So we get our clients up to like 30, 40% in, in sales, uh, you know, in, in really enrollment. Like I said earlier, I don't like that word sales because it's about picking the right fits. Uh, but that said, one offer, one channel. That's all you need to get to $100,000 a month and then knowing your numbers. So people people think that, oh, there's no way I can get to a, a millionaire with one offer, one channel. Yes, you definitely can. You need to track your numbers for at least 90 days, every single day. If you do this, if you actually follow what I'm telling you to do, you will get to seven figures a year. It will. It's honestly not that difficult. Like just have one good offer and then track your numbers for 90 days. And then go back to the drawing board after you track your numbers every single working day. Uh, you know, maybe look at how many posts you put out into Facebook groups. You know, if that's your method. Or look at how many YouTube videos you made. Or look at how much you spent in ads every single day. Whichever it is, you need to make sure that you know the number that you need to achieve every single day in terms of sales call volume to get to 100000 a month. And it is literally that simple. And people overcomplicate it like mad because, you know, this is how humans work. They overcomplicate the process and then they justify why they overcomplicated it. And that's just human nature. And I found myself doing that a lot. I found myself really overcomplicating the process because I thought it had to be complex because, you know, money's obviously hard to make and it takes hard work to earn money. And so I had these beliefs that then caused me to create complexity in my business. So the final action, if I were to go back, is C. Uh, let me actually make a new page for this. C, adjust your beliefs beliefs make sure that you see money the right way because if you see money as hard to earn then you're not going to see the value of this process i just shared with you right you're going to see it as like there's no way it's that simple Trey. there's no way you can just know your numbers for 90 days and then have one channel and then figure out creative solutions to increasing your numbers or, or solving the problems that come into play right this is like why uh, for example in the consulting blueprint you can actually give our uh team your sales calls we'll review them and we'll tell you what to change you can give us a total overview of your offer a total overview of your product market fit your team structure everything like that and in our, in our one to one level our mastermind level our entire team trains your team our enrollment specialists our coaches our operations guy our appointment setters our funnel builders everybody on our team trains your team gets them up to speed with whatever market you're serving with whatever offer you have uh, and that's, you know, we, we're really what we're doing is we're in downloading the belief system that we have into your team and into your company. And that's why that's such a valuable offer. But with the consulting blueprint, you know, we're giving you all these tactical strategies. We're giving you all the steps you need to take. And then we're also addressing the beliefs. Like one of our clients on our program, Michael, and he's actually, uh, he's an interview on the channel. He's actually being updated interview soon because he's reaching that seven figure level. You know, we were coaching him and we were helping him through some of his processes. And it turned out the hard wasn't found in like knowing his numbers and doing the work and like the simple stuff that I shared. It was actually that he had a hard time seeing money as easy to earn and he felt guilty because his wife went to college and all these things, she's a lawyer, and uh, he felt guilty that he was starting to make more than her. And I was like, wow, that is a powerful belief. That is, an, that is an issue in your thought process. And when I told him that your problem isn't anything technical, your problem is actually that you need to see money as hard to earn in order for you to feel virtuous. That is when we had the breakthroughs. That is when he four to five X his business the next 60 days. That is when he realized, holy cow, like I've been making money, this thing that I, I need to earn a certain way in order for it to be like ethical or moral. 
Um, but then he realized, like, I haven't been viewing it the wrong way the whole time. Once he realized that, he had a, a fundamental change. So these are the three things you have to do. One product, one channel, and then beliefs. These are the three things you have to do. And this is proven time and time and time again across, uh, you know, the board for all of our clients. And look, if you're interested in being a private client of the Consulting Blueprint community and program, we've got daily support calls every single day. You get unlimited one-to-one -one support from the entire team and myself. I've got my two to three hour long session every single Friday. Any questions are open. We'll build you your offer. We'll show you where to prospect, give you the numbers you should aim for, tell you or your whole team exactly what to do to get to your revenue goal in your business. Whether your goal is to get started, you know nothing about business and you just want to start a good business or you're already doing 5, 10, 20, 30,000 a month and you want to scale to that seven figure level, we're here to serve you uh, and we treat you just like we treat all of our other clients. The basics applied at scale get you to seven figures a year just like they get you to six figures a year. Uh, and a lot of people think that you need different strategies. You don't necessarily need different strategies. You need the right team members in the right place to support the scale. But at that point, it's basically the same thing, just done more and at, with more volume. Uh, so hopefully you've enjoyed this video. If you do want to chat with us about your investment into the Consulting Blueprint and speed up that learning curve, maybe you don't know what you don't know, or you just want to be around people that have done this a million times and get the right help from the right people, or you want to be in a community where you've got a lot of accountability. You know, one of the things that you sign off to when you join the uh, Consulting Blueprint is your rights to some of your time. We actually ha force you to take some one-to-one -one calls with some of our community uh, and, and, and kind of force you to network and, and build those relationships. And it's why, you know, our live event that we have coming up in February, we have over 40 people wanting to be there, even though we can only support 15. So we, we actually have, as a team, have to pick who we want to have there um, because we've just got such a valuable community. Everybody just has such a deep, threaded connection, and they see it as more than just a business program. It really is a program that is fundamentally helps them change their lives. And it's honestly bigger than me, bigger than my team, and even bigger than our clients. We're really trying to create generational wealth. And if you want to be a part of that, schedule your free consult call with myself or the team. We'll speak with you. We're going to ask you a bunch of questions and see if you're a good fit for the program. And look, if you're not a good fit, it's really no hard feelings. We'll put you on the wait list. We'll let you know what you have to do first. But if you are a good fit, we'll get you started on the call. Uh, have some form of uh, payment ready uh, to just get us started because we don't do a lot of follow-up. Like if you're not ready to take action and just get started with us, then, you know, that that's that's on you. Like, we want to make sure that we're only speaking to people who are extremely serious about making this investment and that are ready to do that because we have a high standard of behavior for our clients, for our team, and I myself as the lead, I have a high standard of the way that I make decisions. You know, I've made decisions once off within 20 minutes of talking to somebody for 30 grand for a mastermind, right? This apartment, I looked for three days and just picked one and just went. Um, and I think it's important that you relieve yourself of that energy suck in the back of your head of decisions that you know you have to make but you just haven't made them yet and when you start to do that like for example i just got engaged right like i just i was like all right i knew i was going to do this i know i got to get engaged i'm just going to do it and then like the second i got engaged like there's so much freedom in my head now and all of a sudden i can pull myself back into my work because that's not like eating ram in the back of my head so i want you to schedule your call and just be honest with us you know we're not forcing you to make a decision either way we're just going to see if it's a good fit a lot of people come onto the call and they've got this arrogant attitude of like, look, I know what you're doing. You're just trying to convert me. And really, like, you can feel that way if you want, but we're looking for the right fit. We're looking for people that we know we can help because our business grows and shrinks to the size of the satisfaction of our clientele and the results that we get you in your business. So if you're interested in speaking with some people about that, let us know or just book a call in the comments. Uh, should be that pinned comment or one of the first links in the description. Take you to a landing page. You can pick a time and speak with us. So that being said, these are the three ways to scale your business to a million dollars a year that we found are the three things that you need in order to scale to a million dollars a year that we've found. And if you want direct help from people that have done it themselves and for tons of people, book that call. We'd love to speak with you. That said, thanks so much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed and I'll see you in the next video.